my name is Paul Blackmore, and here we are just outside of uh, Florenceville, New Brunswick. With a replica, not quite life-size, not quite as deep, not quite as high as the real Noah's Ark, but I think it's almost as long. And that would be based on a cubit of about 18 inches. The boys back in Noah's days were big lads though, probably nine, maybe even 10 feet high. So a cubit for them would probably add another uh, 50, 60, 80, 100 feet maybe even on the end of this boat. But uh, lots of space in here for uh, two of every kind of basic animal. We would have had the speciation divergence after this, but all within the, the kinds. Uh, you might have only had two dogs. From there you would have got your wolves, you would have got your, uh, you would have got your foxes and whatnot. Uh, but here we have it right here, an example of uh, Noah's Ark. And you see up top here, uh, they certainly didn't have any walkways around there that would have been solid up to the side and probably quite a bit higher. But uh, nonetheless, lots of room for, uh, lots of room for all the animals that God told Noah to put on the boat. And uh, that top edge, according to the Bible, had a, a cubit, which would have been, again, anywhere from 18 inches to maybe even as big as 24 inches, all the way around the top edge. And that's where the, uh, the, uh, the ventilation of the whole boat would have taken place. Almost certainly the center of the boat would have had a big round uh, moon well, and the water Uh, coursing up and down inside would have acted as a piston, would have literally pumped fresh air in and out all during the time of the flood, which was uh, pretty much half a year they were in this uh, in a boat this size. That would have also been a kind of a convenient place to stow away and to dispose of all the refuse, because the animals, they would have been ma make a bit of a mess, as you might well imagine, and uh, and they had to do something with it. It would be pretty nasty in the ark with all that stuff in there. So most likely they would have had a big moon well, Plus, you could also uh, fish from the inside of that. So uh, any of the animals that would uh, eat uh, meat, uh, they could have gotten fish from the oceans there. Anyway, I'm not sure quite how it happened, but... Uh, we do have layers uh, all the way around the earth, sedimentary layers that tell us a story of a cataclysmic hydrological event, which we know from the Bible was Noah's flood. happened 4,500 years ago, and uh, God preserved eight people, Noah and uh, seven of his family members, inside a boat just about this size, made of gopher wood. You can read about it in Genesis chapter 6, 7, and 8. Okay, this is uh, Paul Blackmore here, just outside Heartland, New Brunswick, in Florenceville, saying uh, goodbye, and God bless. Thanks for watching the video.